Hello everybody and welcome to your next C-Sharp tutorial. This should be a fairly straightforward and short tutorial so hopefully you guys um, enjoy this. Now, uh, instead of keys, um, keyboard state, uh, we've changed this to mouse state. Uh, so just change the text from previous key state to previous mouse state and change the text here to mouse state. And um, if we scroll down to our initialize method, we want to set its mouse visible to true because we're working with the mouse and we want to see it on the screen. And uh, basically, the same thing goes for here. We say previous mouse state is equal to mouse state, um, and then we say mouse state is equal to mouse dot get state. Um, so this will be what happened last frame, and this is going to be what's currently happening this frame. So the same way we're gonna go about it, we're saying that if the mouse, the left button on the mouse is pressed, and the previous uh, mouse button state is released, then display text equal to true. And if the left button is released and the uh, on the left button is pressed, and the previous mouse state is pressed, then display text equal to false. So you guys are probably saying, "Wow, well." with the mouse is easier why do we have to have mouse state and previous mouse state if they have button state released and button state pressed well the reason why we need this is because uh, if say we have um, just if mouse state dot left button equals to button state dot pressed right it would just be like it would just be the same as saying key state um, is key down because basically as long as you're holding the key it will keep on looping the same thing um, display text will be equal to true it will keep on looping whatever you have in there because of um, the buttons being pressed now if the buttons if the current buttons being pressed and the previous mouse state is equal to um, button state pressed it's not equal to button state released if it's equal to button state pressed that means you can only detect a single mouse click. If you have it just like this, then it will um, symbolize multiple mouse clicks. But if you uh, if you do it this way, then uh, it will only do uh, one mouse click. And instead of the way that I have it now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna um, do this. So I'm gonna put counter to string. And I don't have a variable called count counter yet, but I want to create one. So let's make an integer variable called counter, and let's set that to zero by default. Now, uh, once we close this, we could say uh, counter plus plus when you uh, press the button, and when you release the button. Um, let's say counter minus minus so uh, just to test this out to see what happens so it should only show one and zero so if I, pr so if I press down it's supposed to show the counter's value I don't know why counter's value isn't being shown oh sorry because of display text so get rid of that right there that if display text equals to true so if I press down it equals 1 and if I let go it equals 0 so on and so forth so let us uh, comment this out let's do a block comment by doing uh, f um, forward slash star and then I mean, asterisk and then asterisk uh, forward slash and then let's do it the way that I was showing you guys before so we do left button equals to button state pressed um, counter plus plus else if mouse state uh, we could just put else but I just wanna uh, show you guys just write it all out to sh so you guys get familiar to it so button state released now look at the difference in your program so once we do this if we're not pressing anything then it's detecting as a button being released now if I hold down 
it's detecting as a mouse pressed. But see, it's it's not a single mouse press, it's just a continuous mouse press. It keeps on looping as long as the mouse is being pressed. With this method up here, with our method up here that we commented out, uh, with this method, it only detects one keep or one mouse press, and that could be useful in certain game situations. So uh, that is it for this tutorial. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. And bye.